there, it's Beauty Junkie. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm getting into some new nail polishes from Chanel. These two are from their fall 2022 collection. I have the shade 945 Emotion and 953 Essential. These are very different <laughs> colors for me, very fall shades. I also got the new La Base Camilla. This is the new nail base from Chanel. This is going to be a different kind of nail video because I already have on these colors and they're about a week and a half or so old. I'm going to take this off and reapply just one color, um, but I wanted to show you what they look like uh, live and in person. And then of course I'm going to show you what these look like freshly painted in the sunlight with a couple pictures. I'll go ahead and show that. This is what it looks like with me being rough on my nails as usual, washing dishes, cleaning, all that good stuff. It's pretty, you know, worn down at the tips, but I do really like these colors. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take these off with some remover and then we're going to start over. I'm going to pick Emotion. All right, nail polish is off. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to be trying this base out. I already have the quick dry and shine top coat. Um, I don't know about you, if you guys, when you do your nails yourself, do you use the base and top coat from all the same brand as the nail polish color you're using? Or do you, does it matter to you? Does it mix it up? Like if you mix it up, does it seem to impact the wear and how it looks on your nails? Or do you like insist on everything being from the same brand? I don't know that I have noticed a huge difference. I think something like that might be hard to tell. For me, I always, it's hard for me to keep nail polish on my fingers for long because I don't wear gloves or anything like that when I clean, but I'm sure it might help somewhat if everything's kind of aligned. I hope they designed the base and top coat to go with the nail polish, you know what I mean? Um, but maybe it's just more about the nails than anything else. Maybe it just depends on the person. All right, so that's the base coat. It's obviously clear, but I would say it's slightly cloudy. So I'm just going to wait for this to dry and then I'll be back. We'll be applying Emotion. All right, base coat is dry. On to applying this guy. going to shake it up. I didn't think I would think that Chanel nail polishes are worth it. Some of you will probably, most of you may <laughs> will disagree because of the price. They're really expensive, but I just think they apply so nicely. Um, so I've bought a few since I've been getting into Chanel a lot more, uh, the makeup and stuff. I've been purchasing more of their nail polish and I really like it. I think it's honestly one of the best nail polishes out there. It's just the formula. I don't know how to describe it. It's just nice. I, it, it's not like my go-to for, um, complicate. <laughs> complicated wild colors. Um, I would go for other brands um, for those kinds of colors, but just for more basics and staples, I think Chanel is nice. And this is a, a pretty professional color that's a, a bit different, like a warm rose. Um, I, I definitely have more trouble picking out colors that are neutral nude, whatever you want to call it, um, versus like the crazy colors. Cause I'm not so concerned, like if blue is going to go with my skin tone as much, but I worry about neutrals and nudes clashing. Uh, cause if you get 
like the wrong color it can really make your nails not attractive <laughs> uh so i really contemplated and looked at several youtube videos about which colors i should get so i think this color goes well with my skin i think there's a slight clash with this one but i still like it i'm still gonna wear it um there were cooler kind of browns to choose from but i wanted something more warm that i i ha don't have a color like that brown at all uh, so I wanted it to be slightly different, but I really like this color. Just excuse the application. I'm not great at this, but it looks so pretty. Just pretty nails. Um, I, I don't know that I've ever had a color like this, but I thought it'd be nice as we head deeper into September. I know everyone, well not everyone, some people are having a heat wave right now so it feels really far away from fall. And some people I know hate fall and they can't stand all the talk about it. <laughs> I don't mind fall, I just, as you get older, older every year that fall comes around, it's like the same stuff everyone talks about over and over again. Like, pumpkin, too much pumpkin. So I'm pretty tired of the fall conversations. I think everyone's glad to have relief from hot weather. Uh, yeah, sure, put a sweater on, get comfy, cozy, football, whatever. <laughs> For me, uh, work-wise, it's the busiest time of year. Most stressful, most annoying. So right now I don't like fall, but you know. I'm trying to just have a different attitude about it because it's not really within my control unless I want to change jobs, right? Like, yes, it sucks. We have so much work, but, you know. So here's one thick coat. I think I probably would be on the safe side by doing another one, but this is what one coat looks like in case you guys are curious. It's on the thicker side, but still very decent coverage with this emotion color. All right, so I'm gonna let that dry. I'll be back, we'll do a second coat. Okay, onto our second coat. First coat, putting on the second. Yeah, I would say this polish, most polishes need at least two coats. And with this more opaque color just be careful not to make it too too thick because it's it's not really sheer by any means so you don't want to go too heavy on this color but it is gorge how do you guys feel about neutral polishes do you love them is that your go-to or are you a pink or red person um purple what do you like all right guys so here is two coats still wet pretty okay so i'll be back when this is dry we'll do a top coat and then i'll show you the final nails all right here is the second coat dry enough and i'm gonna put on this the top coat i actually use this one quite a bit um i mean it's I don't know if there's anything special with it, but if I'm going to be using a Chanel polish, I try to use the top coat um, really any time. It just prevents fading and easy to get chips um, on your tips. So I like to use it. I don't know that this one is like particularly shiny but for me top coats are more about protection quickly throwing this on okay here we are with the top coat this is emotion 945 i think a lot of you guys will like this one and i think it will work for honestly a lot of different skin tones and depths i could see this working on medium deep skin tones as well um 
course it does kind of stand out a little bit deeper for me but I still think it's really pretty let me know your thoughts on this fall winter 2022 collection do you like the nudie vibes here let me know in the comments below if you like this video click the thumbs up subscribe and I will see you all in the next one bye guys